We normally run it as max at, a, at an eight hour run, but this week we're deciding that we want to see how, what sort of capabilities it has. We started it at six o'clock um, and hopefully we're going to run it for the whole week. Okay, so this week at Promethean Particles we've got a, quite an interesting run going on. But what we're trying to do actually is show that we can produce over a very long period of time and produce a large amount of material at manufacturing scale. So we've got a lot of sensors which monitor temperature and pressure within the reaction. Once we're at 400 degrees we can then swap from just water that we've been using to heat up the system and we're going to start pumping our reactants. So all that means is really just changing the taps on the tanks but within about five or ten minutes we should have some product coming out of the end. Today we're producing cerium dioxide, later in the week we're going to produce silicon dioxide uh, and titanium dioxide, so a range of products. We're trying to keep, make sure it's consistent and the way we're doing that is to keep the reaction conditions consistent but also we're doing a lot of quality control, uh, analysing the products that are coming off and checking that we are producing the same material all the way through. So far it's good. It's the way we're doing it is we're running uh, in three shift teams, which is something we've never done before. Um, so actually I'm here to start it off for a couple of hours and then I'm off and I'm back in at 10 o'clock this evening doing the graveyard shift. So um, it'll be interesting for the staff as well as the, uh, as the results that come out of it. The reactor itself has been running for over 42 hours now and it's been completely consistent all the way through which is great news. Um, we've made about a thousand litres of cerium dioxide products and here are some samples we've taken at regular intervals and you can see they're nice and consistent and what we've then got to do is centrifuging and washing the material so you wash out a lot of the uh, byproducts of the synthesis. Uh, and you have a much purer and much cleaner product at the end. This is effectively the good stuff. This is the cerium dioxide, which is the product which will go out to the, to the, uh, to the customer. All the um, active material stays in the solution, so we've got a, a nice concentrated dispersion of cerium dioxide ready to go out. The only thing um, that here on the night shift we're a bit narked about is that the morning shift got uh, brought bacon sandwiches, and we, didn't, we haven't got any of that, so uh, um, we're, we're running on empty a little bit, but we're doing fine. In this case, boring, boring is good. We don't, want to be, we don't want to have any exciting moments really with the reactor, so boring is good. I, think, I, think, I want to see the person's face when it just goes quiet. He's just like, <laughs> like what's that? What, something's changed. Oh, there. There we go. Shh. That was me. <laughs> And then I had the initiative to swap to a waste tank. Good plan. Oh yeah. We had an incident, not an incident, but a, a, a point about three or four hours ago where the, uh, while the reaction was going perfectly well, the reactor was still working perfectly. Unfortunately, we had an electrical fault on one of the heaters. And so the whole system tripped out. Um, all the kind of safety procedures we've got in place all, all sort of kicked in and so um, effectively all the pumps were stopped, all the heaters were turned off and that meant reaction ended in the end. The silver lining is that it wasn't the reactor that, that went wrong or the, or the reaction itself, it was just an electrical thing. Uh, also, if we'd have gone as far as, you know, where we'd spoke, where we'd hoped to get to and hadn't seen that there was actually this fault on the, on the electrics then, you know, maybe we'd have had a problem down the line. So, Positives to be taken from it, and actually it's been a really successful run, and we've got through probably 60 hours of running, um, which is about 90% of what we'd hoped, and we've got some, uh, some good products, so it's been a real success. Yeah, we'll, we'll turn off. Um, I think we've got some pizza coming, so there's going to be some, uh, some pizza eaten now. We can all uh, relax a little bit, um, and like I said, it's 10 o'clock, so after that, we'll shut the thing down, lock up and go home, I think. Do a deal with everything in the morning. Who's going to demonstrate an unsafe, an unsafe pressure letdown? <laughs> you should hear it slowly slow down. I don't know. I don't Majestically. Know. We're done. Pete! Yeah? Are you ready? Missed! <laughs> 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 we moved up in the world because we, we're, we're not on plastic cups anymore. We're, we're getting more classy with tea mugs. 
what we're going to do after this, we need to put together all the experiences, all the practical uh, bits of know-how that we've developed for the last few days and put those into the designs that we're, we're just finalising at the moment. So finalise the chemical engineering designs for the scale-up plant, uh, which will be um, several times bigger than this, uh, orders of magnitude bigger than this and uh, we'll start building it in the next six months. So that's, that's a big deal. So that we're going to be building the world's biggest uh, continuous hydrothermal plant. So uh, no pressure. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to go back to like two hours ago where uh, Tom was... Actually, yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> Pointing. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. That's not how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Get the spill kit! <laughs> <laughs> Job well done. Successful. What are we going to do with all the nanoparticles now? Vlog them. <laughs> <laughs> eBay. That's it. <laughs>